Hello scholars and families. I wanted to take a few minutes to show you how you can check your grades. Now that we are underway with the school year, it is important to check your grades at least once per week and make sure you are completing all of your assignments each day um, so that they are counted and um, you're you know, keeping up with your work. So the easiest way to check your grades this year is to go to your Google Calendar and just like you would open up your weekly assignment checklist, you're going to click on that where it says Grade 2 Weekly Assignments. And here you'll notice that I also added in the directions in the description here if you forget how to check your grades. But you're just going to simply open up this week's assignments. So you'll click here to open that up. Once your weekly checklist opens up, you'll see the current week and you'll see all of the days of the week. You can click on any day of the week. I'm going to choose Wednesday. And you're going to find whichever subject you would like to know your current grade in. So if you want to know your current grade in language arts, you will click on language arts. So we'll do that now. And now that I've clicked language arts, I can see it took me to that current lesson. From here, you'll notice that you see some icons over on the left hand side. You're going to click on grades. And this is where you'll see the language arts grade book. So whatever course you click on, you'll click on that course, you'll go to the grades, and then you can see the current grade for the quarter. So as you can see, this test student has a 73% for quarter one. And the way we grade things is we break them down into three categories. We have assessments, which are 40%, assignments, which are worth 40%, and then progress, which is worth 20%. And so um, depending on what we have assigned, you'll see the, the name of the assignment and you'll see the number of points and the score. So for example, the student took an assessment, the 1.07 unit one week one progress checkup, and they scored a 90 out of 100 on that test. Their assignments, they've done three things so far. The first one, they scored a three out of three. The second one, they got a seven out of 10. And the third one, you'll see this little orange hexagon that says missing. If you see any hexagons like this, that means that your scholar did not turn it in on time, but they still have additional time to complete it. So to do that, you would just click on the hyperlinked assignment name and it would take you right to that assignment. So I'm going to click on that and show you how it would take you to that assignment so you could complete it. And obviously when I clicked on that, it took me right to the assessment and I could go ahead and complete this. If an assignment is locked, um, if, if you see a zero and it doesn't look like it's open, that is because assignments are only open for two weeks. After two weeks, they are locked and the students may still be able to access them or complete them, but they will not be counted toward their grade. They will still receive a zero if it's not done on time. So therefore, it is very important to keep up with the assignments and make sure that you're checking the grade book frequently so that that um, in case they are missing things that they can catch up quickly. If you have any questions about how to access the gradebook, please do not feel um, hesitant to reach out to either myself or Mrs. Mudd or any of your teachers. We are here to help and thank you for taking the time to watch this video.